Welcome back to this War of Mine Fading Embers DLC. It's the beginning of day 12. We got a pretty good haul last night. And probably the most important thing, honestly, is the fact that Ruben is now actually up and moving and I can control them. So we have two hands instead of one. That's going to make such a huge difference. First thing I can think of to do is now we can finally take herbal medicine. We couldn't give it to them in bed for some reason, only normal medicine. Oh, no, they, they need real meds. These won't do. No, damn it. All right, well, we can have them go st stoke the fire. So Anja is exhausted, so they're going to sleep tonight. I, I actually was trying to gather the wood in my last outing to build another bed because I really wanted to have a bed for Anja to sleep in so that I don't have to waste so much time sleeping. But now that Ruben is up, I don't think there's actually much of a point in having two beds. Because we could just sleep in shifts, right? Like, Ruben isn't tired right now, so Ruben will be going out for a while, and Anja can sleep in a bed in the meantime, and then they can switch if they need to. You know, as long as their tirednesses are not perfectly aligned with each other, as long as they're kind of on opposite ends, which they are right now, I think we just need one bed. I don't even have any more wood. Oof. Oh, wait, no. No, no, I do have wood. I just haven't made it into fuel. Well, okay, let's see what we can make. Ooh. Uh, oh, no, that's a simple heater. That's not the upgraded heater, but actually, we might have what we need to upgrade it. We do. Oh, we do. Because we got the thermoregulator thing while we were out. It heats up the shelter much more efficiently using less fuel, the improved heater. That is incredibly important. Make it. So I can make a bed, but I don't want to. I can make a metal workshop. Uh, it takes quite a bit of wood. I think I'm still going to have to go for fuel, really. But I don't need to process all of that into fuel. Actually, how much does this need? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So how about I make four fuel? And then I use the rest to make a metal workshop? Maybe the metal workshop can be used to make, like, tools and stuff? Maybe eventually guns? That's pretty far in my future, though. Oh, with the improved heater, we don't have any fuel in it by default? We just lost the fuel that was put in there? That sucks. Well, it heats much more efficiently, which I assume means it's going to run through fuel slower, but I also wonder if it heats up hotter. I'm wondering if I need a full six in it, or a four is going to be okay. I don't want to risk it. I'm not going to make the metal workshop. Let's make more fuel. Looks like I only have two water right now. And I do have those two filters that I made a while ago. So let's go ahead and make eight water by boiling some snow. I filled up the, the heater, by the way. I just had Anja lay down in this bed. I wonder if they lay down in it enough that it will make them less tired during the day. So let's just leave them in there. Got a good amount of water now. Um, there's no food that I can make, unfortunately, because I don't have any raw food. Let's go check our crops. Okay, they're not done, actually. In that case, I guess there's not much to do. Um, I could eat just these, like, vegetables, but we're just hungry. We're not, like, super hungry or anything, so... I think I'll just wait and hope that I can get some raw food and make more efficient use of them. Oh damn, this improved heater is not only more efficient, it does make it way warmer. It's plus 17. Before the max that it ever got to was like maybe plus 10, if you're lucky. 17 is like actually pretty dang comfortable. Like normal comfortable, not like wartime trying to survive comfortable. 
guess I might as well just end the day, huh? Let's see if they get less... Yeah! It took them from exhausted to tired. That is good to know. So that's two tiers that it took them down, right? From exhausted to very tired to tired? Oh, that's fantastic. It's... Hmm. Is it better to have Reuben sleep in bed? Than guard? Guarding hasn't been very important lately. We've never had anybody steal our shit. And I'm also thinking that sleeping in bed might... Slow down how fast they get more ill. I don't think they'll recover, but... Yeah, I can't imagine going without sleep would do much good for your illness. So, let's have him sleep in bed, and we'll go scavenge. I was gonna have Reuben go out and scavenge and on just sleep, but now that they're only tired, let's go scavenge. I think we should still wait. Yeah, it says Reuben might be well enough to survive the journey to the museum. Yeah, they might be. They're up, but they just got up. They're still severely ill. I might want to wait until they're healthier if I can find more medicine I don't know I've been to all these places is the thing so I, yeah the chance of finding medicine in any of these places I think is pretty dang low because I've already been to them I could try the abandoned house again risky Very risky. Hmm. Alright, let's try the abandoned house. Nothing to take. I've been hoping somebody would come over for me to trade with. I bet you there's good stuff in the room the people are in. Should be fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wait, did I leave that door open? I think I did, but somehow they didn't notice. It's kind of a miracle they didn't notice. Let's go close it. I can get out the back door here. Of course, I don't have nearly enough stuff for me to want to do that just yet. I have barely anything. I remember there were metal bars up here. Yeah, but I don't have anything to do anything about that. I know that I already went up here. I don't know if I looted everything is the thing. But I know that there's nobody up here. There's just this window that's making noise. Wait, is this locked? Yeah, it's locked. Damn it. So... just leaves that just leaves these two rooms with people in them um <sighs> the 
They don't seem inclined to move on their own. They're not, like, patrolling around. So... I think I have to make a noise. And then hide. Oh boy. If I sprint around above them, they'll probably come. Um... And then I'll just hide here and try to get back around where they came from before they get back. It's not working. Damn it. <laughs> it looks silly sprinting back and forth. I don't know how else to get their attention. I guess I could sprint around right outside the door and then try to go in here. That's disturbingly close to where they actually are, though. But... I guess. It's either that or just leave, mostly empty-handed. What if I just open the door? Oh no. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm so dead. They're telling me to get the fuck out, so I think I can just leave? Is this to bar it? Is this like... What is this? Oh, is this... Hi is that hiding behind the door? I'll let you go this time. Next time I'll kill you. Okay. Wait, is there not even any loot in here? No, there is. I just... I just wasn't in the right mode. They're gonna try to kill me if I try to loot this, surely. Right? No? Okay. Let's go. They're very accepting of me just looting the place while they're yelling at me to get out and they almost killed me. I thought there'd be more stuff in here. Like, the the really good stuff must be in that locked thing in the dresser and behind this metal bar. I'm severely wounded and I don't have any bandages. Oh, wait. Hold on. There's something here. Not a very good haul at all. It's quite bad, really. That was a disaster, but I guess I'm gonna live with it. I'm alive. <sighs> I've got the bandages, and now I'm gonna need them too. I have the bandages? Are you sure? Because I'm pretty sure I have no bandages. Yeah, I have zero bandages. What are you talking about, Anja? Hmm. Hungry, hungry. We're both just hungry, so I don't... Once again, I think I'm not going to bother eating. Anja? Anja doesn't want to move. Maybe because they're so wounded. Looks like they're kind of just like dazed. Or are they just like stuck? I don't know what's going on. They've been there for a while. Huh. Well, I can't really do anything. Like, I want to get Anja to bed, but I, I can't move them for some reason. I feel like that's a bug. That, that doesn't seem right. Let's restart the day. Okay, there we go. Now, Anja's actually moving. Yeah, 
That was not supposed to happen. Oh, they're recovering from their wound? Just from being in bed? Hmm. Maybe I don't need bandages. If we just sleep for a very long time. Anyway, I don't think there's anything to do other than just stoke the fire and then end the day. Fire stoked, and that's really all there is to do for today. Let's end the day. Mm, they didn't become any less wounded. They're still severely wounded. But at least they're not tired at all. Okay, here's the thing. I think we have to go to the Pogorin Museum. I think we need to leave. Because there's just nothing really for us. We've scavenged most of what we can get. Everything else is behind locked things. Or gates. I think I just have to go. We could move there with some of our things and help her to save our heritage. But with Reuben still in recovery, moving is very risky. Hmm. Yeah, we gotta do it, otherwise we're, there's just gonna be a slow decline. Like, I don't think I'm gonna find any bandages, so... I don't know what's gonna happen with this wound. Reuben is gonna eventually just get more ill once again. Let's go. We gotta go. Are you sure you want to move now? You won't be able to come back. Yes. So... This is everything that we can take, right? 18 spaces? So I just take as much as I can? Actually, maybe I can take everything. I don't have that much. Not quite. <laughs> Let's dump the snow. I don't think we need to bring a backpack full of snow. <laughs> Water, yes. Hmm. Parts are nice. Components are nice. I don't think I need this many parts, though. This jewelry is really important. These books are really important. Oh, they only stack up to two. These electric parts are important. I don't think I need so many herbs. I have a lot of herbs. Let's dump two of them. Those only stack up to four. I think that's pretty good. I don't think anything else here is really super valuable. Yeah. Yeah, alright. How's this gonna work? Like... Do we have to play as them as they move, or...? And I think it's kind of implied that we took all of our artifacts with us. Mortar shells fell from the sky, terrorizing the besieged city as Anja and Reuben made their way to the Museum of Pagorin. Ducking into the cover of shattered houses when a fresh barrage whistled overhead, they weaved around bomb craters as they managed to safely move Anja's collection and a handful of necessities. Leaving their home was not easy, but Anja felt it was their best chance for survival. In this new shelter, new challenges awaited. Milena, who talked her into moving in, was doing all she could to secure the artworks collected in the museum. She lived on the premises with Zaron, her loyal friend and former janitor who does his best to help her. But she could definitely use another pair of hands. Okay, so it sounds like Reuben survived. I think it would have mentioned if they didn't. Yeah, they're right there. Cool. Anja, I'm so glad you changed your mind. I know it must have been hard to leave your home behind. It was even harder than moving through Bagorn with my collection. 
I still have a lot of doubts about my decision. Trust me, you're much safer here, and you can do a lot of good for our city. I see you brought some of your things with you. We took as much as we could fit in the cart. But having to push it through the snow didn't make it any easier. What counts is that you both made it and we can start working. Leave it here for now and come with me. I'm gonna show you what we're doing here. First, I have to show you the most important space in the whole building. Sorry, I'm walking so slow. I'm severely wounded. Could you slow down? This whole place is so big. It is. My god. This is our main warehouse. It was used to store old documents and archives. Now, we try to gather all the most important and endangered pieces in here. This looks impressive. Decades of history must be stored in these papers. You can check our main exhibits in the catalog later. Now come, there's so much more I need to show you. Let's go to my office. There's a lot more you need to see. There must be Zoran up there they're doing here despite the war is truly amazing. Don't worry, Milena. No need to help a severely wounded person. I got it. Thanks. This is my office. Feel free to enter whenever you need. It's where you can usually find me. If I'm around, of course. You can also check our current list of tasks that need handling here. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I... I thought that, uh... You know, I know that these DLCs are mini-stories. So, I actually wouldn't have been too surprised if the game just ended when I went to the museum. I wasn't sure if it was going to end or not, but no. It continues. It looks, seems like there's a lot more. The man we just passed is our janitor, Zoran. He helps me out and lives here as well. We have a lot of work to do. Let's go upstairs. These offices had to be full of people before the war. This wing was hit really bad during the bombardment. We must reinforce the structure, but we lack people and materials. It doesn't look good. Do you think it will hold? Not for long. We have to reinforce the pillars to buy us more time. We have to collect and secure all the exhibits and documents in these rooms. What do you do with those items later? We keep them in the main warehouse until we can find a better solution. Now come, there's one more thing I need to show you. Oh, we're going downstairs. Or no, over. In the end, the museum is and always was for the people. I'll show you our main wing. I can only imagine how these hallways must have looked filled with visitors. This part of the museum is our exhibition space, or what's left of it. There's still some items left on display. The others are packed in boxes in the back. I'm sure you know the painting we're looking at right now. Oh, of course. It's the Battle of Leech Swamp, a commemoration of a great victory. All of Iceni know the story in this painting. Yes, I brought you here to show you the importance of what we're doing. The value of this painting is extraordinary. Many people would like to put their hands on it. But for our people, it's priceless, like many other exhibits in the museum. Our heritage. Yes, 
This famous painting and your family's collection are important in the same way. They make us who we are. Please remember that. I'll leave you for now. If you have any questions, you can usually find me in the office. This painting reminds me of something. I think I've already been here long ago. Oh, another memory with our grandpa? So, Anja, are you enjoying our little trip? Of course. This museum is huge. It's like ten of our houses. <laughs> Indeed, kid. But tell me, what do you think about this painting? I love it. It has knights and horses. But do you know who these knights are? Um, are they Viceni? Oh yes, our proud cavalry in the famous Battle of Leech Swamp. It's one of the glorious moments from our past. A time when we were still a free and proud nation. You know, Grandpa, I think when I grow up, I want to be a knight. <laughs> you don't want to be an artist anymore? Well, as a knight, I could fight for Vicenna with my sword. Oh, sure, my child. But you see, you don't always need a sword to fight. You can win with nothing more than a brush in your hand. So, the stuff that we have, is it, uh, oh yes, 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 I was hoping this would be the case. That we would have access to not only the stuff that we brought, but some stuff that they already had here. And we do! Medicine, some food, just a little bit, but a bandage, yes. Let's figure out where this stuff actually is. Oh my god, there's so many things here. Like, where's... I don't want to waste too much time before I can get everybody bandaged. Where would I apply a bandage? Where's the bandage closet? This place is too big. That's food. Oh, here, here we go. Bandage. And then... Reuben, you need to get some medicine. And then... Oh, we have control of Zeron. Yeah, I was wondering if we'd have control of them. So we don't have control of Milena, but we do of Zeron. they instantly get better or is it just like recovering yeah i think we gotta wait till tomorrow yeah we're still hurt for now of course why wouldn't we be mm. I, yeah i gotta used to this new space everything's in different places and it's huge i don't know where to go what's this Oh, I love being in a new place because there's stuff to loot within your own house. How cool is that? This is our crafting table. Um, if we don't finish what we do, our entire legacy is in jeopardy. Ah, here's the stove. I was wondering about that. I want to cook some food. Oh, we can sprint now. Cool. Oh wait, no, that's just... There's just a fireplace, I can't cook on that. Uh, alright, hold on, let's catch up on the bio, shall we? Day 14. Moving to a new home and leaving the old one behind was not an easy choice to make. But now I'm here, I can see the importance of what Melena is doing. The amount of work she and Zoran have, have to do in order to save the achievements of past generations for future ones amazes me. I'll try to contribute to it as well as I can. Day 14 for Reuben. Anja was concerned about moving here, but she looks relieved now we've managed to arrive safely with our things. 
There's a lot of work to do, but I'm glad things are being saved from the massacre and protected here. And then Zeran. Let's look at their little bio here. Working in the museum wasn't really my dream job, but it was nice, calm, and paid my rent. Melina was also a great boss who de was devoted to her work. It all changed when the war started, but not Melina. I decided to stay there to help her out, even though my back's hurt and I can't do as much as I used to each day. I just truly believe in Melina's mission and wanted to be a part of it. Day 14. It's good to see someone joining Melena and me in our duties. Melena often had to go out in the city, which in most cases meant I was alone with all this work. It's not that I want to complain, but getting more help with my day-to-day -day work brings me new hope for our mission. Yeah, this is really cool. This is a nice change of pace. 